Hello and welcome to this video on IBM Data Replication. In this session, we are going to discuss on staging store and transaction queues. There are two ways to set staging store quota during instance creation or modification or through management console or command line. This diagram shows the different components of a shared script. Most operations happen or should ideally happen in memory, but when there isn't enough of it, transaction and staging store components will save data on the disk. Note that transaction queue component holds uncommitted transactions, while staging store holds parsed and committed transactions. Data is also persisted in disk when normal shutdown is called so that when CDC is restarted, it can read from already parsed data. This diagram illustrates when memory isn't enough, parsed and committed data are spilled to disk from memory. This diagram illustrates how a transaction queue can grow and shrink dynamically depending on the nature of transactions. A large, in scope, and uncommitted transaction will force CDC transaction queue component to store the transaction on the disk. A transaction with unmapped or out of scope table will be stored as empty transaction. We will discuss how to set the max size for transaction queue in a later slide. The files are created under the instance folder. Staging store temp and transaction store are the working folders of the CDC engine. Let's look at how to set an appropriate size for the staging store. These illustrations take 100 GB as a velocity of data generation. Latency is the time difference between an operation being committed on the target database against the time it was committed on the source. Any table parked should be set to refresh to avoid staging store growth. It can be done through management console. Continuous capture is a feature where CDC can keep on reading changed data even when target is down. Large batch operations or LOBs can take up large space, so are wide tables. Staging store may move ahead of transactions that still hold older logs. These logs may still be needed by CDC on restart. There are occasions when we might need to clear staging store. It can be done using dm clear staging store command. We can clear the working folders manually, which is equivalent to running dm clear staging store command. CDC will stall if staging store is full and measures will have to be taken to clear it. Similarly, there may not be enough space on disk to accommodate staging store quota and measures will have to be taken to make sure it fits in the space. If adequate space is not available in the current disk, staging store can point to another location which has sufficient space.
To get the best performance, ensure that data can be contained in memory and doesn't spill to disk. There are stats in Management Console which can be used to monitor the use of memory and disk. If there are disk writes, measures should be taken to eliminate or minimize it. We can find out staging store start and end positions using staging store status command. It can help in comparing the subscription positions when there are private scrapers. Here are some key points about shared scrape. As stated earlier, staging to space can be set using a system parameter as described. This system parameter can be used to limit the space transaction queue can occupy on the disk. Leaving it to default should be the best option. We may want to know the values the system parameters are set to. We can either use command line or management console to achieve that.